In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add soft shadows to an interactive 3D scene rendered in a web browser. This tutorial is part of a series on making a simple driving game. The starting point for this tutorial is the file developed in the previous tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can follow the tutorials and make a similar file yourself. Real-time rendering of shadows is very demanding on the graphics processor so there is object level control over the casting and receiving of shadows with the car selected click cast shadows if you're going to have sharp, hard shadows, then you need to set cast shadows for all four wheels. Because I'm going to have blurry soft shadows, I don't need to. But I am going to set cast shadows for all the other objects in the scene. The monkey statues, the gemstones, the ramp and the platform and I'm going to set receive shadows for the ground plane. Clicking fast preview we only get shadows from objects near to the centre of the beam from the point lamp in the object data properties of the lamp, there is a shadow panel and there are clipping settings, but I found altering these only increased the amount of clipping. I'm going to change the lamp type to Hemi and reduce the energy to 1 and click Fast Preview. All the objects now have shadows except for the gemstones. I could not find a way of making the gemstones transparent and have a shadow. In the material properties for the ruby material, uncheck transparency and change the type to opaque and do the same for the emerald material. Now clicking fast preview. Now the gemstones make shadows but the shadows are very dark with hard edges. How can we make the shadows lighter and blurry? Back in Blender, in Render Properties, in the Shadows panel, the settings that I found affected the blurriness of the shadows were the resolution and the blur radius. Reducing the resolution makes the shadows more blurry. I'm going to reduce the value to 1024. And increasing the blur radius, I'm going to increase the value to 10. Click Fast Preview. The shadows are now more blurry compared to the previous version. But how do we make them less dark? To make the shadows less dark, in World Properties, I'm going to turn on Environmental Lighting and set the energy to 0.3. Because I've added light to the scene, I'm going to reduce the energy of the Hemi Lamp. In Object Data Properties, set the energy to 0.7 and click Fast Preview. Now with environmental light added, the shadows are not as dark as they were with the previous version. To see what the shadows look like when playing the game, I'm going to overwrite the Blender file in the Blend for Web project, File, Save As, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Projects folder, the My Driving Game 3 folder, Blender folder, click on the file and click Save As 
to overwrite it. It is the JSON file that is loaded into the web browser. To overwrite the JSON file, file export blend for web JSON. Make sure you're in the My Driving Game 3 Assets folder, click on the JSON file and click Export to overwrite it. Now in Project Manager, clicking the link for the HTML web page, all the objects in the scene make soft shadows against the ground plane. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the i icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.